Angola, Africa's fifth largest economy, is a country that has gone through an incredible transformation. A, a former Portuguese territory, Angola lies in the heart of southern Africa, sharing borders with Namibia, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Zambia. A quarter of the population and the vast majority of the country's economic activity takes place in the capital city, Luanda, which sits on the country's northern coast. While fascinating, Angola's past is a tumultuous one. Angola gained its independence from Portugal in 1975 after a war of independence that lasted from 1961 to 1974. For nearly 30 years after independence, the country toiled through a brutal civil war leaving half a million dead and over a million internally displaced, totaling 40 years of internal violence and struggle that left the country's economic, political, and social structures in shambles. Since the end of the Civil War in 2002, however, Angola has experienced an astonishing metamorphosis. The eventual arrival of extended peacetime brought economic growth, an improvement in government policies has helped launch the country to average growth of 11% for the decade, with growth, with growth estimated at 5% for 2013. Today, Luanda's skyline is abuzz with cranes and construction equipment. The city has become a haven for skilled expatriates from its former colonial ruler, Portugal, seeking respite from austerity measures in Europe as well as many Brazilians whose historical links to the slave trade and linguistic commonality provide an inviting living environment. At the same time, Luanda is the most expensive city in the world for expats, with average monthly rent over $6,000. A pair of blue denim jeans costs $200. All the while, many are drawn to the city's business opportunities and quality of life. Luanda has a newly renovated waterfront, in the form of an elaborate palmed boardwalk evocative South Beach or Waikiki. While the departure of Portuguese rule left a nascent agriculture industry in the country, Angola's principal export and economic potential has been oil, and to a much lesser extent, diamonds. Angola became a member of OPEC in 2005 and revenue from the export of oil and, and diamonds together amounted to 60% of GDP in 2008. The government-affiliated oil group Sanangol controls the majority of oil production in the country, and oil sales make up almost 90% of government revenue. Consistently high oil prices beginning in 2000, and a gradual appreciation of Angola's national currency, the Kwanzaa, has furthered the reliance on oil and per perpetuated what many refer to as the natural resource trap. With the exception of 2009, when global oil demand recoiled, Angola has run a consistent current account surplus since the turn of the century. A combination of improved fiscal responsibility and persistently high oil prices has also allowed the country to build upon its foreign reserves since 2003. These are clearly positive developments in Angola's economic soundness, but a more nuanced look exposes some of the risks of Angola's oil dependency. Angola is, Angola is a net food importer, and a rise in international food prices, which is predicted as the effects of global warming worsen, could be horribly damaging to subsistence farmers, who comprise a third of the country's 20 million people. Ultimately, the country is poised to continue to grow and transform itself into one of Africa's most important economies. Investors are well aware of the country's untapped mineral, natural gas, and precious stone deposits, and Angola is certainly an emerging market to keep an eye on in the coming years. Africa, 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 Africa.